Autism cancer. What's up, guys? Welcome to another video. I know it's been what a week or a little bit more. I guess. Um, you know, the week is busy, high school. Uh, so I'm gonna try to get at least one video out. Um, every weekend with this guy too because he's, he's he's a good boy and uh live streams during the week now remember that fall video we did with the 7-eleven donuts well we got 7-eleven again peppermint mocha donuts new for the christmas season and uh red velvet it's so it's not even the christmas season yet we're already catching up to halloween i know we're only we're uh next week is halloween on uh, on wednesday so oh boy yeah we got our milk here too uh which one what do, what do you want to go first uh peppermint mocha or the red room um which one you want to go with first i don't know i feel like i feel like the peppermint's gonna be better i'll go with red velvet you want to rock paper scissors for it you you go no we, we, we can do yours if you want Okay, yeah, we'll go with okay. red velvet. Right. So red velvet for the for the first. I I guess I have like promising like I have promising feelings towards the red velvet. Red velvet never fails. Oh no, like I I, I remember like because little 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 backstory about myself like I always hated eating cake at birthday parties like I feel like chocolate cake. Always like fucked up my stomach. Sorry if I swore about that one. It's but, okay. I already got to monetize it. <laughs> no, monetize I'm kidding. I'm time. kidding. I'm kidding. We're not but even yeah, there yet. If I eat like chocolate cake, like it screws up with my stomach. But on my last, like, I wouldn't say last, but like, but when I turn like 15 or whatever, 16, my parents bought like red velvet from Costco. And um, I really didn't have any much issue with it because like, it didn't really give me any much stomach pain. So um, I have a pretty strong feeling with red velvet because like the product doesn't really cause that much in internal damage. Yeah, but I think red velvet is always pretty good. So here's the close up on it. Yeah, here's a right there. Here's a far shot of it. And it's a uh, yeah. So, all right. Now let's do it. It's about the same as regular chocolate. Just the color is just significant. Yeah, it tastes a little bit like light chocolate. The color is significant. I mean, the red velvet, it's, I feel like it's somewhat in there. For me, it still tastes like, you know, like those, uh, those, uh, hostess small donuts you buy in those packages. Yeah. Basically what it tastes like that, but it's just, it's, uh, Significant color change. It's good though. It's good. It's good. It's too, too sweet though. It's my fucking teeth. I give it an eight mm -hmm. out of ten. Eight. It's all right. Yeah. So now peppermint mocha. I'm excited for this one. I feel like this one's gonna be. It's mm -hmm. gonna have a strong flavor. Oh, this is really breakable. Oh yeah. Yeah. Look at that. Mm, not promising. Yeah, oh, autism is a choice. Well, well, all right, just go in, man. Right off the back and definitely, like, get a hint of mint. You can smell the mint. But I don't taste it. I can taste a very little bit of mint. Like, it's just enough where you can actually sense that it's there. It's not like a strong, overwhelming flavor, but the mocha kind of mixes with it. It's not bad, though. It's, it's like a good kind of mocha. Like, well, like, what, like what my buddy said, um, it's a light taste, but considering the fact that my nose is, like, partially stuffed, I, I really have, like, little to no taste of anything. So, I'm like, when I smell it, I can get the hint of, like, mint when I pop it in my mouth. I mean, it just tastes like the red velvet. I, I, did, I don't even think we get to smell the red velvet, but... Right off the bat. Oh, wait a minute. Wait. Can you, you can sense it, right? A little bit? No, I taste it. Like if I yeah. Open my mouth. There's, yeah, there's, there is some mint in there. It's very light. Yeah. It's not it's, too bad. 
It, it, it's a it's a good one. I, I like it. True. I mean, like, just like the ones that we had before, like with the pumpkin spice and the cinnamon one. Well, I, I was just I was just gonna make like the comparison because like with the pumpkin spice, it was glazed, and I guess you can make like a comparison that this is technically like the uh, the red velvet. It's almost like glazed, but it's like encoded with like a different shade of color. Yeah. And with this, with the pumpkins, not pumpkin spice, um, the peppermint, it has more like something to do with like the internal. No, wait a minute. But both pumpkin spice and the, uh, the the cinnamon were all like covered or coated with something. But this is this takes more like to a internal like insertion with it. It's just chocolate on top, but like on the inside, it's just meant rather. Yeah. But this it's just coated in a different color, but you can still taste the chocolate. So it's I don't know. Like both of these, I would give it eight out of ten. Yeah. But at the same time, like I would say they both deserve an eight out of ten. Uh, although to my preference, I like the 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 uh, peppermint mocha better. I, I, I think I'm. I think I'll end up buying another one of these just for my own time. Um, Me with the red velvet because like you, you want to have the red velvet. I'll take the red velvet. Yeah, I'll, 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 I'll take these. I like them. Anyway, guys, I did hope you did enjoy this review. Hopefully, you guys go to Seven Eleven pick up one of these for yourself. We definitely recommend it. It's good for a snack or a little mini dessert. Yeah, definitely. Eating some of these while listening to the holiday radio in your car. Or when you're decorating the Christmas tree. Oh, yeah. Or on Christmas, after having some ham with the family. I mean, this is good to like put like on a platter to serve with, like, with desserts. Yeah, like, oh yeah, definitely. Like finger food. This is definitely a go. Oh yeah, not too bad. Well, guys, I did hope you did enjoy this video. If you did, don't forget to drop a like. Go ahead and subscribe for more content, guys. Turn on those bell notifications. And I will see you guys again soon. So go pick one. Go pick some of these up. And um, hope you guys did enjoy. See you in the next one. Bye. Guns blue like the Atlantic and I'm going down like the Titanic. Guns blue like the Atlantic and I'm going down. Like the Titanic. The state of Pennsylvania welcomes all of you. Hey, 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 kids. Cats would bow at your feet. Holy crap, guys, I'm feeling good as fuck. Ooh, we made a fucky lucky. Autism is a choice.